Kodak Black was supposed to be one of the artists performing at the Made in America Festival in Philadelphia over the weekend. That festival was originally put together by Jay-Z. So apparently Kodak was late to his set. As a matter of fact, a couple fans told me straight up and down that the DJ for Kodak Black was on time and he was basically trying to stall until the Project Baby got on stage. Uh, but Made in America is a, a festival that's got a lot of artists on it. They're a business. They had to move on. Kodak missed his set time and boy, was he not happy. He ended up calling out Made in America and the person that put it together, Jay-Z, check it out. Made in America, man, I don't know what's going on. This is the first show ever, human a little late too. And, 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 and I can't perform, no money, none of that shit. Jay-Z, whoever running this shit, Rock Nation, Live Nation, whatever the f***. Y'all better, man. This is the first show, man. A little few minutes late to fans out here want to see nigga, all type of shit. But nigga done pay his jet, all type of Y'all okay, 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 faking, man. Y'all faking, man. Well, man, to the point, I don't even want to do that toe no more, I mean, Nine Nation, Mac, Agency, whatever. Yak continued by saying, Made in America is some BS. If the artists pull up late, they keeping all y'all money, even though the people pay for their tickets, they don't care about fitting the artists on stage to accommodate the fans. First show ever that don't send the half front end deposit. That's why they don't care to make the show go on. I pulled up though. Yeah, um, shout out Project Baby. I love Kodak Black's music, one of my favorite artists, but all this is wrong. All of this, we can't keep doing this to each other. You know, well, first and foremost, Made in America somehow, some way got away with not paying their artists or the artists that are supposed to perform their money up front. So in their minds, it's like, okay, if an artist that we promoted is late and doesn't show up, we've already got the fans to pay for seeing that artist. We didn't give the artist their upfront money. We were going to pay the artist correctly, but the artist didn't show up. What do you want us to do in that scenario? Made in America's like, we're a business. We already got the people that were coming to see Kodak Black to perform. It's not our fault he was late. I just hate that sometimes I don't see any accountability with self, right? Like if I'm late to a job, at the end of the day, it's my fault. You know, I, I can sit around and blame the job all I want to, but it's my fault. I gotta be on time. I gotta figure that part of it out. If I pay a team to keep me on point, then instead of going online and calling out Jay-Z, I gotta call my team out. Or personally do it behind the scenes. I gotta call them out. At the end of the day, it's my fault. Everything resides back on me because I am the brand. I'm the business. I, I, it's my job to get to work on time when my, especially when my job is as lucrative as some of these rappers' jobs are. You were talking about probably a, a six-figure payday for the Project Baby. I just hate that we see so many times people like a Jay-Z's name getting thrown in the mud all because he gave an artist an opportunity to make a lot of money. Like, he's getting blamed because he put Made in America together. How is it Jay-Z's fault that you were late for your set time? That ain't right. So now his name got to get drugged through the mud? because somebody wasn't available for their set time and Made in America just couldn't sit around and wait until you got there whenever that would be? Like, just, you gotta be on time. That ain't whole fault. That ain't Made in America fault. They wanted to pay you. They wanted you to be there. That's why they booked you. It's not their fault that you were late. And the fact that they had an out, their out is somehow, some way, they were able to get an artist to come without giving them the front end money. You don't really see that oftentimes today. The festivals can do a little, things a little differently just because the festival money is so good nowadays. I don't think it's made in America's fault. I don't think that's right to run their name through the mud, to call them out as a festival, to call, you know, call out Jay-Z, and to try to put it on made in America not accommodating the fans. Like, it's not their fault that the artists won, won on time. That ain't right. Right is right, wrong is wrong. I love the project, baby. That one ain't right. I can't, nah, I'll be. And y'all know I'm a, a a Kodak apologist oftentimes. I love the project, baby. That one, I can't, nah, nah. I want to thank you guys so much. Time, love, support. Maybe you see this scenario differently. Y'all let me know. Kodak called out Jay-Z Made in America, apparently because he was late and they didn't accommodate him being late and still try to find a way to get him on stage. I think oftentimes what we see in our culture is party promoters will go out of their way to accommodate artists. You know, these clubs can't afford to take a six-figure L if the artists don't show up. 
not only financially, but their brands can't afford to take a hit as the party promoter that promised you said artist was going to be in the building and that artist don't show up. The people in that city just ain't going to come out the next time, right? Like they're going to be pissed about paying that 100, 200 at the door and then whoever don't show up. So the party promoters can't take no L's. A lot of times the party promoters are, are, are very accommodating the artists. They'll stay 3, 4 a.m. to get that artist on stage. You look at a festival, the way they got their business structured, it ain't about one artist. The show moves on. So in a scenario like that, the, the, the festival's just doing straight up and down business. They don't need an artist per se versus a, a, a party promoter desperately needing that artist to come out. They got to make that money back. They need them bars to be filled and packed. Um, they Their reputation can't take hits like that as well. So I think just two totally different scenes. I think Yak got the party promoters mixed in with the festival. Them two different bags. Thank y'all so much. Time, love, support is with your boy. We'll never take for granted around here. Salute. I'm out.